Two teams coming off losses that left them disappointed and frustrated. Who recovers this week? I'm Jeff Fischel with Ronaldo Win. All right, we're talking the Hokies and the Eagles. Let's start with Virginia Tech. Boy, the defense looked phenomenal against Duke, but the offense just didn't get enough done for the win. Yes, Jeff, definitely the defense did their job holding the Dukies to 13 points. But as you look at the offensive side, it all goes through Logan Thomas. Four interceptions, that definitely can be the defining moment on why you don't win the game. So. He's got, to, he's got to play better, but I got to look to the defense. You got to lean to the defense, your strongest part of the team, and they're definitely going to have to stop the run and Andre Williams. So you know, I look at the defensive line. It all starts up front, the physicality of that defensive line. You have Derrick Hopkins leading the way, and then you have those corners who are always coming in blitzing from Cal Fuller or sometime Brandon Faison. And when they don't blitz, they make interceptions. They did it to Anthony Boone four times, and that raises the question, can Chase Reddick and the Boston College offense generate any kind of passing game? Because they couldn't against North Carolina, and the Tar Heels don't quite have that same kind of secondary. You're exactly right, and we already know that Steve Adazio, he's got what he wants in the running game with Andre Williams, but it's just a natural progression. If you can run the ball, then you should be able to pass the ball as well, and they do have a great weapon in Alex Amadon. So I would think that they would look downfield more often once they get that running game going and the play action pass should be open. You think we'll see can <laughs> Amazon get open against the Fuller brothers against face on against Anton Exum. It is yeah. a deep talented secondary for the Hokies. He's Ronaldo win. I'm Jeff Fischel. You're watching the ACC Digital Network.